Should Prince Philip still be driving at 97? Palace insists Duke's license is up to date after crash sparks criticism about his reactions, but experts rebuff calls for tougher rules on older drivers. Prince Philip's extraordinary Sandringham car crash has sparked debate over whether at 97 he is now too old to drive. Norfolk Police is investigating the smash between the Duke of Edinburgh's Land Rover and a Kia yesterday that left two women injured and a baby miraculously unhurt. Prince Philip, who was dragged from the wreckage via his sunroof, is recovering today as Buckingham Palace confirmed he has an up-to-date driving license renewed every three years since he was 70. His friend Giles Brandreth said that Philip is a pragmatist and realist who will accept he should stay off the road if his wife the Queen tells him, old boy, it's time to hang up the keys and give yourself a break. Mr. Brandreth added, I'm sure he'll accept that, while possibly muttering under his breath. But with a new 4x4 delivered to the Duke at Sandringham today it suggests he could still resist with experts claiming younger drivers are statistically more likely to crash. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said, the Duke has got a driving license and follows all of the usual DVLA procedures. In Britain people over the age of 70 have to renew their driving license every three years. But there is no driving test or medical examination, and it is down to drivers to declare whether or not they are fit to drive and if their eyesight is still good enough. Road safety charity Brake has called for a vision test to be required at least every 10 years when drivers renew their license photo card. Critics say this system piles the pressure on relatives to convince loved ones to hand back their keys or go to the DVLA themselves. Prince Philip is notoriously impatient and does not take kindly to being told what he can and cannot do. But some commentators speculated that the World War II naval officer might now accept it is time to give up the wheel as he did with flying in 1997. Royal biographer Penny Jr. told Sky News, It was a horrible thing to happen, but should he be driving? I have no idea who the fault lay with, but he is 97 years old and maybe his reactions are not as fast as they once were. Royal biographer Hugo Vickers told BBC News, Any kind of car accident at the age of 97 is likely to produce shock. Some years ago he gave up flying planes long before he needed to because he was scared that if something happened there would be a lot of criticism. So he does listen to these things. He's very, very sensible. The prince gave up polo at the age of 50, but switched to another equestrian sport, carriage driving, which he still enjoys, and he also gave up flying planes when he accepted that a crash in later life would lead to a great deal of criticism. Edmund King president of the AA Motoring Association, said new drivers were more prone to accidents than the elderly. If driving restrictions based on age and safety were introduced, we would be more likely to restrict young drivers rather than older drivers, he said. Older drivers often self-restrict their driving by not driving at night and only driving on familiar roads. Nick Lloyd, acting head of road safety for OSPA, who used to have Prince Philip as its chairman, said, in the wake of the incident, we have inevitably heard calls for mandatory testing of people of a certain age. This is a red herring. Age is a completely arbitrary and unreliable measure for assessing someone's ability to drive. Statistically, older drivers have fewer accidents than other age groups. 